everyone, Deanna Christine here. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new, welcome to my channel. And for anyone who's already been here before, thanks for coming back. What is a pen name? So a pen name is a pseudonym or it's essentially used by authors as a fictitious or fake name. It's a way to publish pieces of work such as novels and poems and things without using your actual real legal government name. So a lot of authors have used these in the past. They still use them to this day, some of them. It's just something that they can use to have a fake name on their work. Now, why would an author want a pen name? I've come up with a few reasons that I've just seen and researched and looked into, heard about, explored, even thought of myself of why an author would think to use a pen name. The first reason that authors may choose to have a pen name is for anonymity and privacy. An author that's posting a work of art, such as a book, may want to remain anonymous and keep their private life private. So they may choose to have a pen name. Uh, could be for a variety of reasons under that need to be private. It could be that maybe they think that if they put themselves out there, they could be more exposed to different types of risks or threats. Uh, sometimes we see that a lot with celebrities, how they can have people get very invasive in their business, trying to dig into their private life. So sometimes that might be something that people choose, especially authors, to have that bit of sense of separation from who their novel persona is and who their regular persona is. It could also be that maybe they're writing about something that they think maybe their family or their friends won't really understand or maybe they're a little embarrassed to write a book about it or maybe it's something that they just know that their family and friends wouldn't approve of especially if their family is very religious or something and maybe they're writing about something that kind of goes opposed to those views a bit then that might be a reason why a novelist would choose to create a pen name to keep that separation and to just have that part of themselves a little bit more private. So the second reason that an author may choose to create a pen name is they want to have that separation between their personal and professional life and the author life that they're creating. So this could be maybe at the end of the day they don't want to be Deanna Christine anymore and they just want to be simply Deanna. They want to be able to relax, enjoy, have a good time and they want to ensure that there is that break between this is me being an author and this is me being out there doing this part of that career and then here's me at home just relaxing and enjoying my life. So that could be something too that some people would think to maybe have a pen name so that they can have that separation easier. This could also speak into that first point in that they want to be anonymous and they really don't want to have maybe their work co-workers or managers really know who they are outside of work. They don't want them to know maybe some of the works that they're writing on, the books that they write, or maybe they're just a little embarrassed or shy or really just don't want to be treated differently because sometimes people hear that, oh, you're so-and-so that writes those books. Wow, I've heard of those books. You just want to be the regular self that you are when you're at work. So you might have a pen name so that you can have that separation between the two. The third reason that someone may have a pen name can fit very much into the second reason as well. And it, that could be, it depends on the type of career they have in their actual regular nine to five type job. So for example, perhaps they are a surgeon who is doing surgeries on vulnerable patients and on the weekends and night times or whenever they are free, they are exploring their creative side and writing about some thrillers or horror, or maybe even writing about a mystery novel about serial killers or something. 
they really don't want their patients to know that because their patients might be a lot more hesitant to want to get under the knife to someone who writes those kind of books. So it's really just being professional in that professional career and then having some fun and exploring creativity and the works of art they can create in their pen name career. So that could definitely be something where they want that separation of who they are at work, what they do at work, and what they create on the side. Another example would be, say, a kindergarten teacher who is taking care of children. They may be very professional and great at their job, very good at it, but on the side maybe they write a bit of smut or erotica and they really just don't want the parents knowing about that because some parents can be a little protective over their children and and who's teaching their children so they might have a pen name to keep that part of themselves private and separate from what they do in their actual career so that could be a reason that maybe people have pen names to keep those things separate the fourth reason that someone could have a pen name perhaps their name is a name that is already out there, someone already has, and has already made it famous. Biggest name I can kind of think of in the writing world would be Stephen King. Stephen King. Have you heard of him? I think you probably have. We all kind of know that Stephen King is a novelist. He's an author. He writes a certain type of genre, and he is famous and out there. If you are writing books and your name is Stephen King, that might be a little bit confusing. You might get people thinking, oh, you're the actual Stephen King, or you might get people that are just not interested in all because you're not the Stephen King. So it can be very confusing for any of your readers. It could be confusing for yourself. It can just be something where maybe people don't even want to touch you because your name is Stephen King as a novelist. So you need to look into possibly a pen name to go by either your middle name or a new different variation of your name or a completely new name so that you are coming to the novel world as a new author. Because if you did keep the name Stephen King and you published under it, when people search for Stephen King, they're typically going to find the actual Stephen King and your work isn't really going to be found as much. And what you want is you want people finding you when they are searching your name. You don't want them searching and finding Jane Austen or Nora Roberts or Ernest Hemingway, who are all very established authors in their time and their career. You want them finding you. So if you shared a name with someone who was already famous and already established out there in some capacity, in some way, even if your name say, for example, something like Albert Einstein, you might consider changing your name to a pen name. The fifth reason that someone might take a pen name is because they already have a name that is established in another line of their work. So say for example, your name is Dr. Susan Walter, and you are an oral hygienist who writes about oral hygiene, but then suddenly you start writing books that are sci-fi young adult on the side using that same name, Dr. Susan Walter. Someone is trying to search for you and find information on your hi oral hygiene books, but yet they're finding YA young adult books they might get very confused as a consumer and a customer and not be able to find the actual work that you're looking for. So your original work that you have established might suffer as a result. So this could be a reason that you really wanna have a bit of a separation because you wanna keep that work that you've already established as that work. And then when you branch into anything new, you might want to create a pen name so there is that separation. And that kind of feeds into our sixth reason of why an author might have a pen name. It could be an opportunity for an author to branch out into different genres and find different readers. You think of the name Stephen King, you're thinking horror, thrillers, scary things that keep you up at night and maybe that you have to check under your bed before you go to sleep. 
you're thinking that type of novel when you're thinking Stephen King. Some less avid Stephen King fans, they hear the name Richard Bachman, they might not really think anything. And that's because Stephen King actually created a pen name under that name. Now Stephen created it because he, as he claims, wanted to see what it was like to not have the Stephen King name. He wanted to see if his writing stood up, if his talent was there. So Stephen King himself created this pseudonym to write books under to see how successful they would be. Of course, that all came out and we all know that now, but he had taken that opportunity to see how that would work, to see if he could get readers and what type of readers he would get. And that could be something that different authors want to do. Maybe they want to branch into a different type of genre. For example, Nora Roberts, great author, love her a lot, big author in the romance sector. You're thinking romance, you might pick up a Nora Roberts book. But now, say you were going to pick up a book from Nora Roberts, you want that romance. You want, when you're going for Nora Roberts, it is a sweet, cute type of romance. Boy, girl, meet, fall in love, adventure, excitement, passion, all that good stuff, and a good, nice, wrapped up bow, happy ending. That's your Nora Roberts typical book. Nora actually created a pen name, J.D. Robb, to write books with a slightly different type of element. There was still romance in them, but it had mystery, murder, adventure, a bit of a sci-fi because it's futuristic. So it had a bit different elements than her typical type of Nora Roberts. So when I pick up a J.D. Robb book, I know it's going to hit those type of elements because that's the type of series that she has there. Whereas Nora Roberts books, I know it's gonna have those others. So she did that to keep that separation between those different types of books, but that she could explore her creativity and write books of a different genre type. Because honestly, a relationship between an author and a reader is really kind of a sacred relationship. If you get to know a writer that you really love, you're expecting a certain type of book from them. If I'm seeing a Jodi Bacall book, I'm thinking it's going to have certain type of elements of maybe sadness, drama, a little bit of, you know, something that makes me feel and, and maybe I'll end up crying at the end of that book. That's kind of what I expect. If I suddenly picked up a Jodi Bacall book and it was a horrible thriller murder that had me clutching my pillow at the end of the night, that's going to completely change that relationship of what I expect from her. And the next time I pick up a Jodi Bacall book, I might be a bit more hesitant to actually read it because she hasn't provided me that sense of security of what I know from those books. And that sometimes is what you have to think of when you're thinking of your readers. When readers are seeing you and seeing your name, they tend to come to expect a certain type of book from you. So when that ventures away, but it's your name still, it can cause a bit of confusion sometimes or hesitancy with some readers. So you just want to take that into account. Sometimes that's fun and sometimes you can make that part of your whole career as a writer. But sometimes you want to take that into consideration if you know that's your trajectory of your career, but you're going to write in different genres and you want to be considerate about that and have that separation. So that's just something that sometimes pen names are used for to create those differences between genres for writers. Reason number seven of why a an author may have a pen name. This can be much like the different genres in the last example. This could be that a writer really wants a chance to explore their creativity and explore different options that they might have. Maybe they don't want to just write a certain book all the time and they want to get out there and just let themselves be free. And as well as it could be a chance to stop using that same voice they might have and really just allow themselves to break free and get wild. That could be something too that could be a driving force 
of why a an author, especially an established one, may take on a pen name so that they can have that freedom to really explore and get creative. For all we know right now, there could be some famous authors that we know out there who have pen names and we're none the wiser. It's kind of interesting to think of and really it would be something that maybe I would do if I wanted to just to let my creativity soar and just like Stephen King, see if people like me because my talent spoke for itself. That would be kind of interesting to do. The eighth reason of why an author may have now or have in the past taken a pseudonym on is because they kind of were forced to. It was kind of something that they needed to do to be taken seriously and to ultimately actually be published, especially back in the 19th and 20th century. In today's society, we're doing a lot better than we ever probably have in the world of the author world. It's not perfect. I will say I don't know enough about all of the behind the scenes, but I know that way back in the day when a woman attempted to write a book, it wasn't taken seriously. It was seen as fluff and funny and maybe she was ridiculed or even talked down to with her love of trying to be an author. So a lot of times what women had to do is they had to take on a pen name, usually a male name or some kind of variation of their initials just to get their book out there and get published. I think that's so very sad that that had to happen. I'm, I'm very grateful that we're not in that type of world right now, though it's again not perfect but it does break my heart a bit to think of those poor women that had to change a bit of themselves. It's one thing to do it because it's your choice and you have that option to do it and you wanna explore, you wanna get fun, all of that stuff, that's awesome. I'm all for that. I've kinda of got my own pen name, Deanna Christine. So I am all about that. But when it's something that you're forced to do because of judgment, ridicule, you know, things of not having the same opportunities, that's where it's not okay. And that's definitely where that was something that happened to a lot of women and a lot of people as well back in the day. So that would have been a reason that someone took a pen name on. Say, for example, some of the most famous books in the whole world are published by J.K. Rowling. J.K. That's not her real name. She did not come into this world as Jay. That's not her name. Her name is Joanne. But she took on the name J.K. Rowling because she wanted to be taken into account. She wanted boys to pick up her book. She didn't want them to dismiss her Harry Potter series. She wanted to be open to the male readers that she knew wouldn't take her as seriously if they knew she was a girl. That's a bit of a sad reality and why we're not 100% perfect right now, because really, in a better society, that wouldn't matter. But it is the reality that she was facing at the time, still something that even myself, Deanna Christine, someone sees that on a novel, is that gonna change whether they pick up that book or not? It's something some of us have to consider and have to think about when we're thinking of pen names and thinking of publishing work. So that could be a reason why someone takes on a different pen name. The ninth reason that someone might take on a pen name is maybe they just don't like their name. Maybe they given that name at birth, this is your name, and they just don't like it. Maybe they've been teased by the name about the name. Maybe they just are too young to change it because, you know, a question could be why don't they just legally change it? Well, maybe they're not quite at that stage or maybe they have other things other considerations not everything is always black and white of well if you just don't like it change it but maybe this is their way to change in a creative way and and be able to explore a new side of themselves and shed a bit of that name that maybe they don't like as much and that kind of gives them a bit of joy and that might be a reason someone takes on a pen name is that 
they want to be able to create their own name and have fun with it. The tenth reason that someone might take on a pen name is that their name is long and or hard to pronounce or spell. Hi, my name is Deanna. I have been known in the past as Diana, Dina, even D Diana. I've gotten Dana. I've gotten all kinds of names and that's just my first name. That doesn't even speak about my maiden name or my married name. Those are, on themselves are names that people never get right on the first try. So I have definitely felt this personally myself. I know that this is something that I very much considered when I even wrote, created this channel. I thought, well, what's an easier to remember name, an easier to spell name, an easier to find name, an easier to say name, and that's where Deanna Christine kind of came from. So I definitely can relate very much to your name's not quite easy for people to remember, spell, read, say, all of that stuff, and to sometimes just save all of that interesting bit, you just create a pen name. And that is what some people do. And that's a choice that people can make and create a pen name to help readers find them. Because ultimately, we want readers to find us, to find our stuff, find our work, connect us all together, and that's something that a name can be very important. And so we want sometimes to have a nicer, easier to say and spell name to help our readers out and even sometimes ourselves out. And this actually fits very much into the 11th reason that people might have a pen name. And that is that their original homegrown name just isn't very marketable. That's the truth of the matter sometimes. To be a successful published author that people are buying your work, you, you need to have a bit of a markability to you and even your name. If your name is Joseph Stalin and you're trying to get it published right now, that might make people a little bit uh, hesitant to buy your work or even just sign your name and publish you. So that's something sometimes you might get recommendations from others of, hey, maybe you should change your name for your work of art. And that's something that you have to consider. If your name is Seymour Butts, you might not want to take on something that maybe is supposed to be a bit more serious of writing or anything like that. And also people, they hear that name, they're going to think, is this a joke? Is this The Simpsons? So really it's all about how are you marketing yourself how are you being portrayed out there it's part of the world we live in and and what we're facing in today's society is how marketable and sellable are you and this really ties into branding because really with social media twitter facebook youtube all the different things, things I'm probably not even thinking of, other things that are gonna come up in the future, Instagram, all that type of stuff. You're putting yourself out there so that readers can find you, readers can engage with you, you can engage with your readers, because that's usually what an author really wants to do if they love being out there and, and love having that reciprocating relationship with their readers. They want to be somewhere where readers can find them, readers can connect with them and doing that they have to think of branding to keep going back to my probably overkilled <laughs> example at this point but Stephen King if his name wasn't Stephen King on Twitter would we know that it was him would we be able to find it other than the verified check mark which here and there on that too if you didn't see that it's his face it's his name it's his work that's Stephen King are you going to want to follow him? Are you going to want to engage with him? Are you going to want to have that opportunity and trust that it's actually him if it's not his name? So that's why when you're putting yourself out there and you want to actually be an author that is able to sell books and have monetary value to you, you're going to want to think about branding and you're going to want to think about how are you represented 
across different platforms. If you're Deanna writes here, but Deanna reads there, Deanna defines over there, and then Deanna goes to the zoo over here, how is that gonna help a reader know that, hey, that's all the same Deanna, and it's all the same social media ind individual that I want to follow? They're probably not. And how much time and energy is a reader really going to take to investigate that? And as much as maybe some of us don't want that to have to be part of our life being out there, it is the reality of the world. The reality of the world is you're professional, you're taking this seriously, you want to have people be able to find you and know that it's you. So it is something that you have to think about some of that branding, you have to think about that username, that pen name, that way that you're presenting yourself, the way that you're showcasing yourself. It's all something you have to kind of t think of when you're gonna put yourself out there to be a public figure. Being an author is hoping that people are gonna like you enough to buy your books. Of course, there's the love of creativity, the love of writing, the joy, creating worlds, there's all of that. Of course, we love to do that and that's why we write. But at the end of the day, we also, some of us, maybe not all of us, and if it's not you, then this part's not for you. And if you don't need to brand, then that's okay. And that's your lane and you're good at that. And I'm happy for you and wish you all the best in your awesome novel that you're gonna write and love and enjoy and have passion in. But some of us, myself included, want to hope that people want to read our book and enjoy our book and maybe that we can actually make a little monetary value on our books. I mean, what's so wrong in loving something that you do and also getting paid for it? Isn't that sometimes the biggest dream of all is to love what you do and also get paid for it? Isn't that why we chase our dreams? So for those people and the ones that do want to try and want to put themselves out there and take that shot, take that opportunity, get one shot. No, I'm not going to rap. Those people might have to sit and think, what does my pen name say? Or what does my name say? What, when people see my name, what will they think of? And, and who will they think of? And what type of works will that be? And that's something that you might want to consider a bit. Don't agonize over it. Don't sit in the corner and have an existential crisis over it because that's very easy to do if you get too caught up in it. But just play around with it a bit and see, do you like your name? If your name is something that that's the name and it works for you and you love it, run with it, enjoy it, love it, embrace it. But if it's something that it's like, hmm, my name is George Washington and I really don't want to be confused with an old president, then you're probably going to sit and kind of think, is there a different pen name? So in those type of cases, maybe you want to take your father's name and your mother's last name put them together and make a whole new name. That's part of the joys of pen names and exploring that bit of side and having a bit of fun creativity with it if you want. So yeah, choosing a pen name, it can be a very personal choice as well. And it may be something that maybe you have thought of some of these things that I've already listed. If you know some of these things apply to you, then you probably already have or will want to create a pen name to help build up your career as an author and have that name essentially be your author trajectory career name. And all this talk of branding, what about myself? Am I using a pen name when I'm writing my work? This is something I have weighed back and forth even before I started my channel, even now that I have my channel, before I started talking about AuthorTube and trying to break into AuthorTube writing my blog posts, all of that stuff, I have weighed the pros and cons on do I want to have a pen name? That's something that I have thought about. So clearly the name Deanna Christine, as you probably picked up, and I think I even said at the beginning of this video, is not my 
legal government name. <laughs> that is not my last name. I have a last name, as I mentioned, that's hard to pronounce. So essentially, that's not who I am. And that's something it's, do I want to explore that at all? Or do I want to keep everything I've established so far? Because to try to think about using my name might mean I have to change a bunch of stuff. Maybe I need to create a new YouTube account. Maybe I need to create a new blog account. Maybe I need to do all this. Maybe now's the time to do it before I'm really big. I mean, I don't, that's a question. That's a question that I'm can essentially can mull over and think about, or maybe I just love being Deanna Christine because it's fun. And I, I love having Deanna Christine be out there. I don't know. It's something I have to think about. I mean, the initials, I go by Deanna Christine's Corner on my blog because I like that. I think it's fun. I like having my corner of the internet. And also, I like the initials DCC because when I think of DC, or even when I Google DC, what do you think of when you think of DC? You probably think of DC Comics if you enjoy entertainment. <laughs> You've probably heard of DC Comics. You've probably heard of Batman and Superman and all that stuff. So when I think of DC, that's the name that comes in my head. And I have to think, is that going to affect anything? Do I want to have DC affected? Or do I just don't even worry about that and just stick with Deanna Christine? That's all part of some of the things you weigh and the things you consider as you think about how am I going to market myself for the world and for my author career. And so I pass this question off to you. One, do you have an opinion? Should I stay Deanna Christine? Should I explore life in my real name? I also pass off a question to you of, do you use a pen name? Will you use a pen name? Have you considered using a pen name? What do you think of pen names? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and leave any comments that you have below. I'm so grateful that you stuck around with me for all of this time to go through pen names. I hope that you learned something about pen names. Maybe you thought some of the things on this list, hey, I do that, that fits me. And if they do, then maybe you need to think of maybe using a pen name. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. You all take care, keep dreaming, and keep chasing your dreams. Take care. Bye.